What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video and we are going to be reviewing my CT4V today and it's a 2023 model and uh, we'll just give you guys a quick walk around and then we'll get onto the interior and all the features of it. But yeah, just a look from the front here. Very aggressive looking car, which is why I picked it. You can see we have this nice black, it's kind of like a, a mesh style grill, big Cadillac logo in the middle. And you can see there's a little bit more of that black mesh grill on the bottom. Just divide it up into two parts, which looks really nice. And then you can see here, there is a tiny little kind of aero component, a tiny little front splitter. I mean, it's not much, but it does add to the car. And you can see these headlights are very nice. They're very bright. And you can see these, these are your daytime running lights alongside the actual headlight, your LED headlights right there. And these are your turn signals as well. But we'll get down here to the little grill on the side. This is not functional, more just for appearance, but still adds to the look and looks very nice. You can see the same. We'll come over to the driver's side here. We do have these yellow side markers, which I would probably could end up making clear just to kind of flow with the car a little bit better. But you can see we have these nice 19 inch wheels, black wheels, which do come as part of the Onyx package on this car. And part of the Onyx package, you do usually get the black side mirrors as well. Mine didn't come with that, just the way it was ordered, but I can always buy these aftermarket. So stay tuned for that video. And then we have these nice big Brembo brake calipers with the red, or it's a white, sorry, V logo. You can kind of see there, a V logo coming around the side. We have this nice V badging here in Chrome. All right guys, so for the wheels, we have a Continental Pro Contact SSR tire, and these are 235, 35 R19s, and they actually suit the car very well on a 19 instead of an 18. And also the wheels, actually the offset's not bad at all. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but it's not horrible. Dropping down to the side here, we have this side sill extension along the bottom. And then as you can see here, We'll come around to the back and this is my favorite part of the car you can see we have this beautiful rear spoiler in black duckbill style and boy does this ever add to the look of the car it makes the car look way more aggressive from the back and kind of and kind of shows you that it is a v model so as you can see here we have these nice led tail lights and turn signals your reverse lights are going to be up there we have the chrome badging you have your ct4 big cadillac logo all-wheel drive and then another v logo on chrome you can see your backup cameras right there and as we come down along the bottom here you can see we have our uh, rear backup sensors as well and then we have these nice quad uh, tip chrome exhaust which looks very nice as well as this diffuser in gloss black it's a little diffuser but still adds to the car and makes it look a lot better all right, so moving into the trunk, you can see here it's a very wide opening to get in, and there is 10.7 cubic feet of space in here. And as you can see, it's a pretty good size. Like, it, it's a grocery getter. I mean, you can fit a lot of stuff back here. All right, guys, so now we're jumping into the interior here. As we come across the door panel, you can see we have this nice chrome trim piece, and this is also ambient lighting at night, which we could also make a separate video for you guys so you can see the lighting. It's very cool. And as we come across here, you can see we have this premium Bose speaker sound system, and it sounds very good. Also, you can see we have our window controls here. You have your uh, four, four buttons, obviously. All four automatic down, just these two front ones are automatic up. You have your child lock, which we just figured out recently that it actually locks your doors and your windows in the back. So if you guys are ever, ever know why your back doors don't open, it is because you have this button pressed. And as you can see, you have a nice little storage pocket there. All right, so moving to the seats here, we can see the very nice leather perforated seats. We have the Cadillac logo indented into the center of the seat there on the back. And we also have this nice little caramel piping all the way down the seat and on the sides. Also the headrest has it as well. You can adjust the side bolstering to, you know, to kind of fit what you, what you want. It could get very tight, it could squeeze you. Also, you could get the massaging function out of these seats and uh, the lumbar, obviously. As you come down, 
you could adjust that you know all those features with this little button here this little dial and then you also have your back and uh, bottom part for you can adjust you have this little thigh extension here you move it in or out so coming along the left side of the steering column here we have your electronic parking brake you have a spot for an sd card for your lap times this car does come equipped with that you can see we have our brightness for our dash you can adjust with this wheel your heads up display this is basically to move it up or down to suit your needs to see how tall you are how short you are you have your info this will change you can kind of see it there the heads up display it will change which kind of display you have and then you have your brightness for the heads up display as well coming out around to the steering wheel here you can see we have our cruise control buttons right here uh, push up to reset down to set you have your heated steering wheel your ford collision you have your uh, bluetooth controls for if you're taking a call a nice steering wheel just to talk about the steering wheel it's not a flat bottom but it feels very nice in your hand and it is leather wrapped you have this nice Cadillac logo in the middle. And then on this side here, these buttons here are to seek, like to seek your songs, to switch between, you can go forward or backward. If you're in a playlist, you have the scroll wheel and these buttons here will adjust. You can see there the display right to the right of my speedometer. And then if you come down here, you have your V mode and you can see if I click that, everything will change over. And this V mode is fully customizable which is very nice to have. And then you have your volume controls, louder, quieter. Coming to the center console area, you can see you have your push to start button. You have your nice two vents here. I really like the layout of how Cadillac chose to do this with the two vents right in the center here. And they left a nice spot for your display right up top, center oriented, it's perfect. You have a home button here to control your display. And then also come down here, you have on and off for your climate control your auto, your defrost. This is a dual climate control, so you can see you have your driver and passenger. Also, AC, all the defrost stuff. And this car does have heated and cooled seats, which is very nice. You can see your parking assist, and then your uh, lane assist as well. I really like the shifter, and I know GM's gone with this shifter for a lot of their cars now, but this is a very nice shifter. Pretty easy to get into gear, get out of gear. And then you have your park on top. Coming down to the center here, we have your volume control. So this uh, dial here controls your volume. Again, you can switch between songs there. You can go right to your audio right from there. And then you can go to your navigation just with a click of that button, which is pretty cool. You also have your phone control here. And this big dial here basically just seeks if you don't want to do the touch screen. If you don't want to use the touch screen, you can seek between the different controls here. And then here you have your auto start and your brake auto hold, traction control on and off. And then you have your different modes. So your tour, your track, your sport, I'll just click it. You can see sport, I'll go to track. You can do snow ice, my mode, and then tour. All right guys, so we're in the back seat now. And you can see, this is how I like my driving position. This is how I like to sit. And you can see there's literally no room in the back seat for anyone else to fit back here. You can see no one's fitting back there. And I am about six foot three. So I do like my seat further back, but you can see there's no back seat rooms there. We are considering this for even small kids. I don't think they would fit back there with how I sit, but you can see the back seats again. Also the red seat belts. Not sure if I mentioned it, but we, this car does have red seat belts and they are very nice. And you can see the back seat area. Not much room back here, but you still can fit people as long as they're not too tall.